Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very right, well, thank you. What about you? How are you today? Uh, tired, teacher. Tired. Did you work today? Yes, teacher. A lot of work. Yes, in Centro de Contención Sanitaria. Really? You're going there? Yes. Wow, how many people did you check today? Uh, I checked 61. 61? Yes, people. Wow, that's a lot. Is it here in San Salvador? Yes, in San Sonate. In San Sonate. Okay, so you're working in Los Centros de Contención? Yes. Wow. Are you going to work tomorrow? Uh, no, tomorrow is my day off. Okay, well, fortunately, you're going to rest tomorrow. So today, just relax. <laughs> and Thank well, you, teacher. Congratulations, you're doing an amazing job. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, what about the rest of you? How about you, Danny? How are you today? So boring. Really? Why? <laughs> because of the I quarantine. Don't, it don't make uh, anything. Why not? You can uh, learn to play an instrument or maybe you can learn, um, I don't know, uh, handicraft. I I'm 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 stay only sleep. Only sleeping. Is it your first <laughs> day in quarantine? No, it's my um fifth day. Fifth day. The fifth, fifth day, day of quarantine. Okay, that's a lot. So but you have to maybe do you like reading? Um so, so uh, I read the book, uh, the encyclopedia. Okay, that's nice. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. There are uh, some other courses in line. Maybe you can learn um, uh, um, mechanics or electrician. I don't know. Don't have idea, teacher. Oh, really? Okay, follow the Insta for page. <laughs> Only for this class, I have an idea. Oh, okay, nice. That's well. And you're a good student. All of you are nice students. I am really proud of all of you because you are doing a great job. You are always in classes, no matter what you are there. So congratulations, you're nice students. <laughs> and it is. how about you? How are you doing today? Oh, fine. I'm worried. A lot of hunger in my tongue. Ah, uh, yeah, I imagine. So you have many things to do. <laughs> and that's okay because you can um, think in some different things, right? Not only in what's happening right now. <laughs> and that's great. What about you, Froyland? How are you doing today? Today is good, teacher. But this. Uh... It's worrying too much uh, staying in my house all day. Ah, so you started the quarantine today? Today, all day in my house. Really? Is it so boring? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, but I think that you maybe, well, most of men are handymen. You can do a lot of things. You can fix things at home. Try. <laughs> Where about you, Karen? How are you today? Are you tired? Ready, Karen? Oh, yeah. Um, busy. All um, a little work. You've been busy with a lot of work. You're a doctor yeah. too, right? Yes. Yes. Um, painting the machine, coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. That's amazing. 
Well, uh, what about you, Ronald? How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Mm -hmm. And my day is very boring. Uh, my three day in quarantine. Is this and your third day in quarantine and you're really bored? <laughs> Yes, it's very, very boring. I, in the moment, reading and sleeping, watching TV, listening to music, but no more. Do you have any children? Um, yeah, yes, but not be with me. Oh. She or he doesn't live with you. Yes, it's 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 it's, it's, it's going with your mom. Is she or he? Is a boy or a girl? He or it's girl is my ah, daughter. Okay, so she lives with her mom. Yes, I live. She lives with your mom. Her mom in San Martin. Her mom, yes. Okay. In San Martin, I I am live in San Salvador. Okay, well, but with technology, maybe you can make a video call with her, and you can dance or play with her in a video call. I don't know. <laughs> yes, but that uh, is very sad. Is very very sad with is talk with he. Yes, it's bien triste estar hablando con ella solo así. Yeah, I know it. It's it, the situation is well. We need to learn how to deal with this situation because it's difficult for all of us. We cannot visit our relatives. I cannot visit my sister, so it's very sad. But yes, very sad. We are. Mm -hmm. We are uh, warriors. We are strong. <laughs> yes. Thank you. What Michelle. about you, Victor? What can you tell us, Victor? Hello, teacher. Good night. Good night. How are you? I'm uh, rest uh, all day. <laughs> ah, you rest. You're sleeping. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> what? What? Uh, only sleeping. What? You just sleep all day. Yes, yes. Okay. Maybe tomorrow you can learn to make tortillas or something. Vean tutoriales, aprendan a hacer tortillas. Yo tengo mis. <laughs> sí, hay que hacer algo, no, no o sea la emergencia nos toque hacer tortillas, no sabemos. I, I can see the, the tutorial for make a soup beans. Oh, bean soup. <laughs> That's easy. No. I don't have idea. Idea? Really? You didn't have any idea on how to make bean soup? I don't have idea. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, um, uh, well, I suppose that you have completed the platform until section three at least. Finish. Finish. All the platform. Yeah. Finish. You get the three. certificate? Three. Three. Oh, three. Three. <laughs> section three. three. Okay, that's nice. And uh, did you do the midterm exam? Yes. 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 No. Yes. Okay. Then you have to make it. You have to to do the exam, and then uh, today we are going to start section number four, and we are going to start talking about things that we hate to do. Do you know hate? Odiar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Odiar, Danny. Yes. So things that you hate to do. Can you mention things that you hate to do, Danny? Um, so maybe, um, I hate, I hate to make clean. ¿Cómo se dice oh. limpieza? ¿Hacer limpieza? Okay, you can say yeah. I hate, okay. 
Let me share I, the, the whiteboard I, with you so you can see what I'm writing. Okay, the okay. blue is hate, right? I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, hate, hate. odiar. I hate, I hate. I hate to be I in hate quarantine. <laughs> I okay. I hate the situation hate, for coronavirus. I hate the situation for coronavirus. <laughs> okay. Well, el hate es un verbo, ¿verdad? Al hate, ser un hate. verbo, no podemos ponerle a la par otro verbo así nomás en el mismo tiempo. Por ejemplo, I hate clean. I hate to clean. Ajá, porque diría yo odiar, odiar, limpiar como cavernícola, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos decir, I hate, I hate to, to clean, ajá, I hate to clean the house. I hate to clean the house. I hate to clean the house or my bedroom, I don't know, I hate to clean my bedroom. I hate to wake early. Wake up early. Wake up early. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I hate to clean my bedroom. Lo puede hacer de dos formas. ¿Cuál es la otra? Okay. I hate. I hate. Cleaning. 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 Ajá. Y esto no significa que sea un gerundio que estoy hablando en tiempo continuo. No, solo es una regla gramatical que obedece a que no puedo poner dos verbos juntos en el mismo tiempo gramatical. Entonces, o bien lo separo con un infinitivo poniéndole to, I hate to clean, o agregando ing al segundo verbo, I hate cleaning my bedroom. Teacher. Uh -huh. Sería como odio limpiar mi cuarto y odio estar, y odio estar limpiando you. mi cuarto. No, en ambas significa lo mismo, odio limpiar mi cuarto. Por eso les decía que en este caso no significa que sea un tiempo progresivo limpiando. Oh. Uh -uh. Mm. So, cuando es... Eh, uh, El tiempo progresivo lleva siempre el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, yo estoy, I am cleaning. I am cleaning. Ahí sí es, dice limpiando. Estoy mm -hmm. limpiando. I am cleaning. Pero está acompañado del verbo to be. En este caso no tenemos am, is, are. No hay verbo to be. Solo estoy obedeciendo a la regla de que no voy a poner dos verbos juntos en el mismo tiempo gramatical. No puedo poner dos verbos juntos en presente en este caso. Oh. Tengo que separarlos de una de estas dos maneras. Poniendo uno en infinitivo, o sea, agregando to, I hate to, clean, o agregando ing al segundo verbo, lo cual no lo hace continuo, solo es una regla gramatical. Uh -huh. Y significa lo mismo. I hate to clean my bedroom. I hate cleaning my bedroom. Cualquiera de las dos formas. Okay? So, I hate, you say, Danny, you hate to clean your, the house, right? You hate to clean the house. Yes. Can you mention another thing that you hate to do? Um, I, hate to, I hate to, I hate to stay in my house for all day. Okay. You hate to stay in your house the all day. <laughs> the whole day. Okay. Um, and the rest of you, Karen? Um, I hate um, to have standing line. Ah, so you hate to stand line. Standing line. Oh, okay. I stand in line. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What about you, Ronald? Why? I hate, I hate, mm, I hate, I don't know, this is very complication, complicated with, with many, and uh, I hate situation, coronavirus. Okay, you hate the situation. 
Uh, I hate the situation, coronavirus. Um, yes. Wow. Uh, about the coronavirus, okay. You hate the situation. Ahí no estamos poniendo otro verbo. <coughs> Odio la situación. Okay, that's nice. Uh, what about you, Lillian? Can you mention something that you hate to do? I hate to wait. You hate to wait. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and oh, you? Like you hate to wait. What about you, Abigail? Can you mention something that you hate to do? Abigail, she's not there. <laughs> okay, well, uh, this is part of the content that we're going to check on the platform on section number four. So we can uh, watch the material that we have in the first exercise about this. Okay, we have the top eight things people hate to do. That's what we're going to listen. As you can see, this is in the platform. You can check there anytime you want. Okay, so that's top eight. Top eight things people hate to do. Let us listen. Unit 14. Did you have fun? Page 92, exercise one, snapshot. Top eight things people hate to do. Listen and practice. One, stand in line. Stand in line. Two, do laundry. Do laundry. Three, do laundry. travel to work. Travel to work. Four, to work. go to meetings. Go to meetings. Five, meetings. exercise. Exercise. Six, exercise. work in the yard. Work in the yard. Seven. Clean the house. Clean the house. Eight. Open the mail. Open the mail. Open the mail. Okay. Any question about vocabulary? Meeting. Meetings. Meeting. Reuniones. Reuniones. Uh huh. It's boring. Going to meeting is boring. <laughs> Any other question about vocabulary? Work in the yard. No. Ah, patio. work in the yard. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Trabajar, trabajar en el patio. Trabajar en el jardín. Ah, okay. Work in the yard. Any other? What about study? Do you like to study or do you hate study? Like to study. Uh, I suppose that you like to study. <laughs> you're always here and you're very good. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, let's take a look to this conversation. Oh, wow. Let's take a look at the topic. It says, I didn't study. I didn't study. Can you repeat? I didn't study. I didn't study. Okay, as you can see, there are two students. She looks very confident. He looks worried. And they're going to have a test. Let us listen to the conversation and then we're going to practice. Page 92, exercise two, conversation. I didn't study. Listen and practice. Hi, Amy. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I'm a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? 
I didn't study. I just watched TV all weekend. Okay, that's the conversation that we're going to practice today. Uh, do you have any question about the vocabulary? It's roommate. 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 Es el compañero de cuarto. En Estados Unidos es bien común que la gente comparta habitación para en el alquiler mitad y mitad. Eso es un roommate, compañero o compañera de cuarto. I didn't. ¿Hm? Didn't. No estudié. Didn't. Uh, ok, didn't. en este caso, didn't es un auxiliar, ya le puedo explicar. No tiene un significado, solo indica tiempo pasado, porque en esta unidad vamos a ver el tiempo pasado. De hecho, nosotros vamos adelantados. Recuerden que son cinco unidades, ya vimos tres. No falta solo una, que es la cuatro, a la que le vamos a dedicar la semana completa porque es bien extenso. Y luego la cinco la próxima semana, que es con lo que finalizamos. Didn't, ya les voy a explicar un poco más de didn't. En este caso solo eh, me está indicando que este, este verbo está en pasado. Eso es lo que me hace este auxiliar. I didn't study y me indica negativo, pasado. Entonces la oración dice, no estudié. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Any other question? Eh, test es como examen. Test, ajá. Test, all day. Uh -huh. test, test es examen, un examen, una prueba, test. Uh -huh. Ok, aquí tenemos una, varia, una variedad de verbos en pasado. Si ustedes se fijan aquí, quiero ver, aquí está el primero, exercised. Pero si ustedes escuchan la conversación, no dicen exercised, ¿verdad? No dijo exercised. Uh -huh. No. Luego tenemos cleaned. Y no dijo cleaned, ¿verdad? No. Shopped. Visited. No. Studied. No, ¿verdad? Quiero que no. vuelvan a escuchar la pronunciación y le pongan atención a todos esos verbos que están con ed al final. Van a escuchar que son diferentes pronunciaciones. Ninguno de ellos dicen ed. Studied, watched, visited, no van a escuchar ese ed, van a escuchar tres diferentes pronunciaciones y en eso nos vamos a enfocar el día de ahora. Volvamos a escuchar y pongamos la atención a los verbos. Page 92, exercise 2, conversation. I didn't study. Listen and practice. Hi, Amy. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I'm a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched TV all weekend. Okay, so uh, you see the pronunciation is never ed. Como cuántas pronunciaciones notaron? Dos. Dos. Tres. Only two. Only two. Básicamente, bueno, son tres. Pero notables, notables son dos, que sí es bien marcada la diferencia. Les voy a compartir un material que luego se los voy a mandar en el grupo de WhatsApp, que es este. Ok, so, vamos a estar practicando esto, pronunciación. Ok. Um, tengo, de perfil tengo una foto mía, no tengo. Ahí. Ok, son tres. Este le va a servir como para saber cuándo va a sonar it, 
Este son tres, E, T, and D, ¿ok? Uh, voice sound uses the vocal cords and they produce a vibration or human sound on the throat. Luego vamos a ver esto. Ok, los verbos que se pronuncian como con id son los que terminan en t o en d. Por ejemplo, el verbo want, el verbo querer, want. Yo quiero, um, quiero agua. Yo digo en presente, quiero agua. I want water. Water. Pero si lo quiero decir en pasado, yo quería agua. I wanted water. Ok. I wanted. I wanted water. Ya no. Se la pedí hace una hora. Ya no. <ríe> ok. I wanted water. Eso es lo que quería hace un ratito. Ya, ya me la trajeron o, o se les olvidó. I wanted water. Entonces va a sonar como I. I wanted water. Ok. Ajá. El verbo need, tenemos el ejemplo de need. El verbo need termina en de. Ok. En el presente usted le dice I need you. I need you. Pero si <risa> I needed you. <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more. Needed. Ok, entonces la pronunciación final en pasado de estos, de los que terminan en T y en D, aquí solo tenemos un ejemplo de cada uno. Es it, wanted, needed. Ok. Ahora, otra que es bien notable es los que terminan en, en por ejemplo, el verbo help. Ayuda, ¿verdad? Ayudar. Ayudar. En el presente decimos help, pero en el pasado la pronunciación de esta ed va a sonar como una t al final. Helped. 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 Ajá. Y esa es la pronunciación que les vamos a dar a los que terminen en, en sonido... P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, or X. Okay? So you can see here, helped. Looked. Help. Help. Uh, looked. 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 Washed. Looked. Washed. 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 Laughed. 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 Este es como F-T. Laughed. Laughed. Uh -huh. Love, love, love. Love es reírse, como reírse a carcajadas. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, ayer vi una película de comedias y me reí mucho. Yesterday I saw a comedy movie and I laughed a lot. Ok. Loved. Rest. Ok. Rest. Kissed. Kissed. Danced. 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 Fixed. Fixed. Ok, ellos terminarán el sonido final de la ID será chi. Ahora está el D. Este sonido es el que casi no se, no se diferencia del presente. Porque, uh, por ejemplo, el verbo cold es cold. Cold. Cleaned. Cleaned. Solo hace D a end, pero casi no se. Es bien difícil de diferenciarlo. Por eso es que algunos me dijeron, solo noto dos sonidos diferentes. Pero en realidad son tres, nada más que este no es muy um, fácil de detectar con el oído. Okay. Son básicamente cuando ellos terminan en L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Okay. Y aquí dice voiced. Cuando dice voiced es que produce una vibración cuando usted lo menciona. Por ejemplo, call. Se siente aquí como una vibración en la garganta. Entonces lo vamos a pronunciar call. Cleaned. Offered. Damaged. Loved. Used. Followed. Enjoyed. Amazed. Okay. Esas son las tres pronunciaciones, sí. 
with the pronunciation of call. Yeah, as in called. As in called. Y, y no habrá problema con el call de frío y, y call. No, no, porque el contexto se lo dice. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, I called my sister yesterday. No puedo mi decir yo, hermana. yo frío, mi hermana, ayer. <risa> Entonces, el contexto me dice que es cold, de llamar, oh. de temperatura. <risa> ok, gracias, teacher. Ok. Uh, any other question? Ok, uh, and there is a video that I want to share with you. Um, a native speaker, hay un video también acerca de las tres pronunciaciones. Les voy a mandar el enlace del video y les voy a mandar el cartelito ese para que lo tengan ahí en cuenta. Vamos a ver el video de hablantes nativo, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes lo escuchen de ahí. Um, sí, ven la pantalla, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Oh, este one. Así que quieres aprender inglés. Aquí tienes tres mitos que son completamente falsos. Uno, debes hablar mucho. Do Hi, I'm Vanessa from speakenglishwithvanessa.com. Do you know how to pronounce ED? In this sample video from the course The Fearless Fluency Club, you're going to learn three different ways to pronounce the ending sound ED. If you'd like to get lesson sets like this one every month, you can click here to join or in the description below. Make sure that you watch the other videos in this series, including the conversation between my sister and I that you're going to see in this video. Let's get started. Welcome to the pronunciation lesson for this month's lesson set about travel in the Fearless Fluency Club. There are three different ways to pronounce ED, the ending ED, and that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to explain each one, and after I explain one, I'm going to show you some clips from the conversation between my sister and I. That way you can hear this in real life. I think that's going to be the best way to pick it up when you watch TV shows, when you have conversations. So let's start with the first one. The first way to pronounce ED is the simplest form. I want to start with the simplest and then we'll work to the others. The first one is id, id. Let's imagine that you want to say, I want ice cream, but you want to talk about this in the past. You need to use the word want id, want id. This is pronounced W-A-N-T-E-D, but it sounds like id, wanted. There's a completely different syllable at the end. I wanted ice cream yesterday. He wanted, sometimes we drop that T sound, he wanted to visit me, but I was busy. I wanted to go to the store. They wanted to see their family. This is a great example for this id version because we use the word wanted a lot, want. So the next time you say want, I want you to remember id, wanted. A lot of my English students use this id version for other verbs as well. I think because you see ed, you want to pronounce each sound, id or ed, wanted, wanted, but in reality, there are only two ending sounds that we use this with. That is t, like want, wanted, and with a d sound, d, at the end of the verb. Let's watch two clips from the conversation with my sister and I, where we use this id version. Before I was going to Argentina because I wanted to learn Spanish. Yeah. Before I was going to Argentina because I wanted to learn Spanish. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, you know it's going to get better. You'll feel more connected and integrated yeah. as time goes yeah. on. Wait, wait, you know it's going to get better. You'll feel more connected and integrated yeah. as time goes on. The second way to pronounce the ED sound is like a T. 
Imagine that you want to say, I like her, but you want to talk about it in the past. You might say, I liked her. Do you hear? It sounds almost exactly like a T. It really is a T sound. I liked her. She helped me. We biked to the store. There are several sounds that we use with the T sound. So when a verb ends in F, X, SH, T, or K, these kind of hard sounds, like, bike, help, when it ends in these sounds, we make it into a T. Let's watch several examples from the conversation lesson so that you can hear this T sound. And then back to the US right now. Yeah. And I think he's really helped me acclimate hmm. better just because I have somebody who's been with me through, and then back to the US right now. Yeah. And I think he's really helped me acclimate hmm. better just because I have somebody who's been with me. Public yeah. transportation in Korea is fantastic. I yeah. never drove a car. I biked, I took the bus, I took the subway. Public transportation in Korea is fantastic. I yeah. never drove a car. I biked, I took the bus, I took the subway. In my home country. Or, like for me, I liked having little surprises around every corner. I liked having little surprises around every corner. Before we go to the third way to use the ED sound, I want to let you know that sometimes we drop the ED completely. When you write, of course you need to use it, but especially with the T, the one that we just talked about, if the next word starts with a T, or the next word has a T, like it or to, sometimes we link those all together. So you might say, I experienced it, and there's a little bit of a T, experienced it, or when you're speaking quickly, you might say, I experienced it. It's really small. It's lightly tapped. And in the conversation with my sister, we used this several times. So I'm going to show you one of those in the next video clip. I'm going to play it a couple times so you can hear experienced, but it's very lightly tapped at the end. Let's listen. I don't know how to explain it. That's the thing about reverse culture shock. Yeah, you can't it's just really a strange explain feeling. it unless you've experienced it. You've experienced it. You've experienced it. You've experienced it. The final way to pronounce the ED sound is like a D. There's not an extra syllable here, as in id. The first one, id, is a completely new syllable. But in this one, we simply add a D at the end of the word. And the words that you can use the d sound with are going to be anything else that's not the seven letters that we already talked about for id and t. So I want to share with you some examples from the conversation with my sister. But first, let's talk about a simple one. How about the word lived? Lived. Can you notice that there's not an extra sound here? I didn't say livid, live id. I simply said lived, lived. There's no vowel sound between the V and the D. Even though when you write there's gonna be an E, when you pronounce it, it's immediately after the V, lived. So we might say, I lived in the south, and then I moved to the north, and then I moved to the south again. I lived and I moved. Let's see this in real life in the conversation with my sister. For some reason, it really bothered me that people mowed their lawns. Like when I saw people mowing their lawns, like for some reason, it really bothered me that people mowed their lawns. Like when I saw people mowing their Maybe lawns, so you have met him. Like Dan lived in California, then Colorado, then Pennsylvania, then he went to school in uh -huh. Tennessee. That's all over. Maybe some of you have met him. Like Dan lived in California, then Colorado, then Pennsylvania, then he went to school in uh -huh. Tennessee. That's all over. Before we go, I have a challenge sentence for you. I want you to say this sentence out loud. This sentence uses all three of the versions of ED. Are you ready? Listen to me first, and then I want you to repeat after me. You can say, He wanted to live downtown, 
because when I lived downtown, I biked to work every day and it was convenient. Let's say this one more time. He wanted to live downtown because when I lived downtown, I biked every day. We have wanted, biked, and lived. You can hear all three versions in this sentence. I want you to practice this sentence again and again with your speaking partner, with your teacher, with your friends. Say it out loud and exercise those pronunciation muscles. Thanks so much for watching this month's pronunciation lesson in the lesson set about travel. If you haven't watched the other video lessons about conversation, grammar, and pronunciation, and vocabulary, I recommend watch. So, what did you learn from the video? So, you checked the three different pronunciations of the ED, right? Okay, do you have any question about it? No questions? No. So you check all the three different ways to pronounce it. So now you can practice the conversation. So I'm going to play the conversation one more time. So you listen. Page 92, exercise two, conversation. I didn't study. Listen and practice. Hi, Amy. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I'm a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched TV all weekend. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to um, divide you into sections. Okay, so you can practice the conversation. Les voy a mandar la conversación. Le voy a tomar una foto. Okay. Okay, there you have the conversation. So um, what you're going to do is to practice in pairs. Voy a ponerlos en parejas o en grupos de tres por si alguien tiene problemas ahí de conexión para que practiquen con sus compañeros la conversación. Los voy a poner ahí. Acuérdense cambiar roles para que practiquen ambas partes de la conversación. Okay, click join or unirse so you can watch us. Amy. Y la otra muchacha, Jameson. Karen. Ok, Karen. Usted sería Jason y yo Amy. Ok, quiero buscar dónde está. Aquí está la foto. Ok, ok. Hi, Amy. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. Busy. So, I have a busy weekend, so I'm a little tired today. 
Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, an exercise. Exercise. Exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and, and, and I clean him, did the laundry, and shop. Shop? Shop. Uh -huh. Shop. 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 And the visit, I said, I said, in a girl, I visited. I visited, uh huh. I visited. I, vis I visited my parents. As uh, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for I studied. the I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I did a study, I just watch TV all the weekend. Okay, now you can change roles. Pueden cambiar role o ya practicar alguien con <laughs> Royland en diferente role. Soy Amy. Amy. Um, Empiece. I'll watch another group, puede por otro grupo. Shop it and detent visit my parents. So what did do you on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched TV all weekend. Very good. Yeah, well, Did you all practice? ¿Ya practicaron todos? Yeah. Mm, falto, falto yo todavía. Okay, let's listen. Okay. Eh, eh, ¿Con quién me toca? Comienza. Ronald, Danny. Comienza. Yeah, uh, hi, I mean, do you have a good weekend? Well, well, I have a busy weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommates and cleans, did laundry and shop. And then I have is my parents. So what? Die do you Sunday? What did I, you do on Sunday? What did what? you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no! Do you work? Do you have a test? I I don't study. I just watching TV all weekend. Okay. okay, pretty good, pretty good. Now you can change roles. Otra vez, ajá. Yes. Yo. Hi, Amy. Did Sábado que los mandamos para para San Salvador, pero no sé si son esos. No me ha dicho mi jefe todavía. Tabarra, qué mal. Hola, teacher. Hello. Did you practice the exercise? <laughs> ya terminamos y lo pusimos a platicar. <laughs> ah. <laughs> About what? Hay dos casos más, teacher. Oh, oh really? Teacher. O sea que ya yes. son cinco. Yes, teacher. Wow, no, oh, wey. Y de los mismos que estaban en cuarentena. Son los mismos. Le cuento a Abigail que yo vi dos pacientes el sábado que dijimos que le íbamos a activar el protocolo si tenían fiebre por la noche y parece que sí, los mandaron y no sé si esos son los que están positivos porque son de un albergue también. Wow. Ay. Bueno, hasta ahorita se supone que solo ahí se están dando, ¿verdad? 
ojalá que sea así, que solo ahí. No es la gente que se está metiendo por puntos ciegos. Sí, pero ahorita los que se han encontrado en su mayoría han sido que han estado en albergue. Bueno, a ver que, cómo nos va. Primero Dios que se calme luego esto porque nos está afectando demasiado. No solo económicamente, sino que emocional, física, de todas maneras nos está afectando. Increíble. Es. Pero bueno, a ver. <ríe> ok, uh, ¿todo le salió bien en el, en el video, en la conversación, perdón? Sí, teacher. Hay que practicar. Es práctica. Con esto de la pronunciación en pasado es práctica. Sí. Y eso es más que todo, es pura práctica. Esta es primera vez que ven el pasado, ¿verdad? Es primera vez, teacher. Gracias a Dios que vamos bien con el tiempo, así que le puedo dedicar estas cuatro, estas cuatro videoconferencias a los que es el pasado. Así que mañana vamos a seguir y les voy a explicar lo del didn't y todo eso. Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, ya le di aquí que se sabe. Ah, es que no nos hemos salido de la sección nosotros. Estamos de regreso ya en la sección principal. O sea, ¿cómo les ha ido? O sea, hasta ahorita la pronunciación es, eh, era lo que íbamos a enfocarnos ahora en pronunciación. Esto, como les decía al principio, es práctica. Práctica, práctica. Mañana les voy a explicar la gramática del, um, del pasado simple, cómo formar oraciones afirmativas y cómo formar negativas. Ya vamos a entrar a gramática. Ya pasamos pronunciación ahora, mañana vamos con gramática. Así es que... Teacher, solo esto. En, en exercise es terminación de, ¿verdad? Exercise. Sí. Sí. En, en, en cleaned es ID. Cleaned. Cleaned. Ajá, cleaned. Cleaned. Y chopped es terminación con T. Sí, exacto. Chopped. Y studied, studied con D al final. ID, ajá. ID. Id. Studied. Studied. Ah, y tenía duda. Studied. Studied. Oh, studied. Okay. Studied. Studies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question? No more questions? No more questions. Okay, so that's all for today. Um, tomorrow we're going to practice with grammar. Yeah, I question, I even... question. Yes, Ronald? Usted nos puede mandar el link del video porque no lo alcanza a copiar. Sí, sí, yo les voy a mandar quizás cuando termine la próxima clase, a uh, tipo 10, les va a caer por ahí, les va a caer el video, el link, eh, también el cartelito que les mostré. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok, so thank you and see you tomorrow. Take care, stay at home, please. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.